you know what time it is, it's decluttering time. I have been a minimalist for just over three years and it has absolutely become a lifestyle. So decluttering and minimalism really go hand in hand because without letting go of the excess that doesn't serve us, then most often we just have brimming shelves, brimming drawers, brimming lives and we are not able to really focus on the things that matter the most and so decluttering is such an important part of minimalism because in our culture it's very common to even on a daily basis have free things coming in pens from the bank notepads from the hotel free t-shirts from the run that we just did free water bottles from the convention free tote bags from the conference, you know what I mean. And so if we don't have a habit of decluttering just as a lifestyle, then it's going to pile up and pile up and pile up and we're gonna need to do these big declutters. Don't get me wrong, I've absolutely done huge declutters. We have given things away to different charities we believe in. We've had their trucks come and pick up things. David and I had a lot of things. Even though you wouldn't have necessarily known it, we were very tidy, you wouldn't have walked in our home and been tripping over things, but we had way, way, way more than we needed. And there were a lot of areas in our lives where things were just kind of neatly organized, but stuffed, and it just didn't feel great. That's why it's so important to be decluttering really on a daily basis. Whenever there is something that I know that we don't need, or I know that we're not gonna use, I'll just move it into my donation pile right away. And I have a set, area for that it's in the trunk of my car because i know when i'm out and about i can just drop that bag or that basket off at a local charity shop and they can be blessed by it and i can get it out of my life well it's been about a month of just decluttering things daily moving them out of our home and my bag in the trunk was starting to definitely get full so i knew it was time to do a video for you so that i could share with you the things that we're letting go of in our life in hopes that it will inspire you and without further ado let's get into it the first two things i'm going to be letting go of are two of gabriel's little jammies that are footed this boy wore these out they got a lot of wears and a lot of washes so i definitely got a ton of value out of these i don't know how much longer these are actually going to last and i don't know when we're gonna have another child if we even have another one. So I really don't wanna hold on to these and just have them in a drawer. I want them to be on a baby, keeping the baby cozy while he or she is sleeping. So these are going. Next up, we have the bottoms of a swimsuit. I bought this on its own. It is very, very faded and I just don't wanna wear it anymore. So I'm gonna donate it, hoping that if they don't sell it, that they will do some recycling of the fabric, hopefully. This is a tank top that David no longer wears. He loves wearing tank tops when he goes to the gym, but this one is crazy thick and he doesn't reach for it. So he was ready to let this one go. This is an active wear top that has served me very well. I thrifted this years ago and it has a little drawstring at the bottom so you can tighten it. But the problem is I do very active workouts and I find that this is just way too loose on me and it makes me feel like I'm about to fall out all over the place and I don't wanna feel that way when I'm doing Pilates or any of my other classes or just working out at the gym. And I'm hoping that somebody at a thrift store will be excited about it. This is a button up shirt of David's that he used to love and he's just found that his personal style has changed and evolved and so we're moving this one on. Oh, here's the third little sleeper that went in that set for Gabriel. This one is in really great shape, so I think I'm going to run this by Once Upon a Child and see if they want to sell it. Hopefully this is gonna go to a precious little baby somewhere. These are two very old shirts that we use for work shirts, but this is an area where it's easy for things to just kind of pile up and we have yard work shirts or painting shirts, but how often am I painting? Am I doing yard work, cutting the lawn, washing the car? Because chances are you probably get by with just a couple work shirts. That's what we've decided to do. So we've slowly been whittling down and these were the last of David's two work shirts because his gym shirts 
have gotten to a point where they're kind of deteriorating. And so we're gonna move these two out and we're gonna bring some of his workout shirts into kind of the play work category. These little circles, my friends, if you're wondering if a one-year-old can fit this in their mouth, the answer is yes. I didn't think that Gabriel would be interested or really able to fit this entire thing in his mouth. I don't know if you can see, but it's actually pretty big. And <laughs> sure enough, we were right there with him and looked and he had the entire thing just like in his mouth, but it, he definitely couldn't close his mouth. We'll just say that. It was very scary, way too big for him to swallow. So it really wasn't a choking risk, but we are not messing with it. And there are several of these. A friend actually gave us a bag of these different foam blocks and they have arches and all kinds of stuff. But these are going to be donated because we don't have any desire to have Gabriel get his hands on these. Two pairs of work socks and I just upgraded David's workout socks. That's really about the only time he wears socks because we live in Florida and we live a very flip-flop Tiva life. So he prefers ankle socks and so I just bought him a new set of those and so his old ones can now be his work socks and I'll probably only keep one or two pair but these haven't been worn in a very long time. So I might use these for dusting cloths and I probably will actually turn these two shirts into dusting cloths and just kind of work towels because the likelihood of a donation center actually using these and selling them is very low and I don't want them to end up in the landfill. I have a couple odds and ends silverware. I do have a couple forks and spoons and one knife so that if we're gonna be out eating at the beach, I don't have to bring my silverware and be concerned that it might get lost. These are really just mismatched. Originally found them at a thrift store, but I have more than I need, so I'm gonna pass these on. These are shower curtain hooks. I just bought a new shower liner and these hooks are from the new shower curtain but we actually used the old ones and they're in perfect condition. So I'm gonna donate these brand new ones. I bought this tankini brand new at a thrift store when I was pregnant for Gabriel. And I thought it was just gonna be handy for those days that I didn't feel like showing my tummy or I didn't wanna wear a one piece. I've honestly only worn this a couple times and it's just not my style. I'm not into ruffles and I just want to pass it on to someone else. And since we live in Florida, I'm pretty sure this will go to good use. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it is time to retire my Star Wars shirt. This is one of my favorite shirts ever. I got this years and years ago. I'm talking probably 10 years ago, and it definitely shows. It's not excellent quality. It has a little bit of polyester in it. Yeah, it's 55 cotton, 45% polyester. So it's definitely pilled. It has at least one hole that has run. And I wear this thing very rarely now. I find that I wear it a lot when I travel because it's light and breezy, but I'm trying to think of something fun that I can do with it to honor the shirt. If not, I'll just donate it and hope that somebody gets really excited to find it. But if you have a good idea for what I can do to reuse and kind of upcycle this shirt, please drop it in the comments because my heart is sad to let it go. I also have some random spools of thread. I feel so blessed to have my grandma's little sewing kit that had many different colors of thread. And I went through it the other day when I was sewing up some holes from different pieces of clothing. And I found that these four colors were either repetitive in my sewing kit or just colors that I don't wear. Gabriel doesn't wear and David doesn't wear. So I know I'm not gonna be needing them and I just want to pass them on to someone else. I hope whoever gets them appreciates the fact that they are so old. This one was 15 cents. So these have to be super, super old, but I'm gonna pass these on. Next up is my beloved Wooly Bear blanket. I grew up with a blanket that was very similar to this, but I think it has a polar bear on it. This one is a teddy bear and I got it at a garage sale when I lived in another state 
probably about eight years ago and I've just been finding that we don't reach for it and we very rarely have occasions that we need to use it. So I would rather it find a good home and we have four other blankets that we can use for guest beds when people come and for cozying up with movies if we have multiple people here. So we just really don't need this anymore and it's time to let it go. And last but certainly not least is this laundry basket. I have another laundry basket that is identical to this and then I also have a smaller circular one and I have found with the fewer possessions we have, the smaller amounts of laundry we have to do. And so those two laundry baskets are more than everything I need. Most often I just use the small circle one, but every once in a while I reach for the larger one and I've just found that I can't remember the last time that I needed to use both of these and the smaller laundry basket at one time. So I'm gonna move this on to a new home. I'm pretty sure I thrifted it or my mom did back in the day and so back to the thrift store it will go. And that my friends is everything that I will be decluttering. I'm gonna be packing all of it up. If I'm gonna possibly be selling any of it, I'll set those things aside drop them off to the store. And if I find that I'm just not getting to it within the next two to three days, I'm simply gonna donate those other items. If you learned anything helpful or just enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would also love if you would subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure you click that little notification bell so that you get alerted when I upload a new video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.